Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I am Exorf and uh, we are here in Lothar Castle. Um, going to be exploring the, um, the Garden of the Consumed King, I believe it was called. Um, one thing, one interesting thing is that that knight over there, uh, which was it's very powerful, is back. Which could potentially mean we have a source for farming um, Titanite chunks. Maybe we had before as well, uh, but I I don't uh, I don't rightly know. I suppose we can get, go down here somehow. All right, so we did open this shortcut last episode. Uh, so we'll need to be a bit careful about these enemies, I would think. I don't know where the enemies that um, that ambushed us last time are like hanging around. We might want to be a bit careful about that as well. There you are. <laughs> I have no idea where you came from. I couldn't actually tell. But yeah, that's not a problem. But yeah, I'm glad uh, these messages were actually here, otherwise I would have kind of assumed that it wasn't a shortcut. Because it really didn't feel uh, much like a shortcut, having to... Usually you don't have to like run past a bunch of enemies and such. So, does this also say try rolling? I'm wondering if there's actually another place where you want to roll off early here. Yeah, totally. Hopefully we can actually jump down to, um, to where that elevator is supposed to be taking us. Dragon scale ring. That's interesting. Deduces damage from backstab. Okay, that's not that interesting. <laughs> uh, ring of Osiris, former king of Lothric, reduces damage from backstabs. In his later years, uh, Osiris uh, became fascinated with dragons. After going mad, he was more commonly known as the consumed king. Many assassins were dispatched to his domain, but none returned. So, <laughs> It's weird that they don't explicitly say that Osiris is the king of Lothric. The consumed king ascribed his uh, resilience to the divine protection of the dragon scale. Hmm. Kind of a fun little idea with a uh, uh, a ring that uh, that kept him safe from uh, from getting uh, killed by assassins. Okay, I probably want to deal with you. Thank you. Is this just the... the back path to uh, to this area? I kind of don't want to take this path, but maybe we have to. I kind of want to take the normal path, uh, but I don't think we can get back into the elevator now uh, any other way. Were there more than... Yeah, there's more than one of you guys. That I do not approve of. Hopefully they don't react immediately or something like that. But yeah, there's still stuff around here that we haven't picked up, so... I do want to be a bit careful here. Is this a player? No, it's not. We haven't really summoned any NPC summons, I don't think. Okay, there's one enemy down there as well. I'm trying to see if there's like stairs somewhere. Maybe we can go down a proper way. Yeah, here. Okay, cool. Why is there a corpse there without an item in it? That's kind of unusual. Uh, 
I kind of want you to actually fight me. Oh. Well, I'm trying to block onto you, goddammit. And I'm trying to throw firebombs at you, but it's just not work. Come on. That was really poorly done of me. <laughs> Alright. I think we'll try to take the same path this time, just so we can... Uh, um, yeah, just so we can get back to our souls. Not that that matters too much, but it felt like it could have been a good place to be. And besides, we do get to kill... Uh, um, this enemy over here, which could buff uh, people otherwise. I wonder what the ring was doing up here, though. That's kind of weird. Have you spotted me? Yes, you have. I think I sort of have an idea of their movesets. Which is nice. Before they were just... They were just pure chaos. But at least now... I sort of get it. <laughs> I don't think it helps all that much though. But... Dark gem. Not really good to have. And some... Uh, Specific cases. Okay, where is this gonna take us? Okay, right up here. In the chunk. Is there another set of stairs up there? Or maybe not. Will you spot me? I think this should be the only item left. I'm gonna find this in. Got that. I want to take a different path down to the other side. If we might have seen everything this place has to offer. Uh, I mean, this exterior area has to offer. Not the whole place. Of course. And I suppose... Yeah, there is an item down there that we know of. I kind of just want to deal with you, honestly. Even if I do hate your guts. I wonder if we can uh, lure you up here. Fine. It seems like they're actually like a hundred percent chance of getting a large titanite shark, which is cool and unexpected. Let's just wait for that thing to go around. I know that it'll just keep on going. I have no real uh, urge to fight you. The only reason why I wanted to fight that one was to um, to give us some. Uh, Respite as we were exploring this place. There was an item down here. Vampire resin. And one over here. And then the chunk. Awesome. So we've been on this side all the way. Is there anything more over here? God damn it. I should be able to go there. I really should. 
Okay, is that just a blood stain? <laughs> because it looks like a weird figure. I'm gonna see if there's anything on the right side as well. Which might take us into the path of that thing over there. Okay, I would say that we are fairly certain that there's nothing else here. Now let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like seriously. Though maybe we'll send the uh, elevator up so we have an easier time with the shortcut. Next time. Because I'm assuming there is going to be a next time. Is there something in here? What a weird little place. Really weird. Got that out of the way. Heading back up. Uh, now we have to fight paladins. This is about as fun as fighting those uh, black goo people. When I get lit, we can have the Estus flask equipped. And we still have. Uh, full Estus. I don't, Jesus, we haven't even taken damage, have we? Or maybe I'm being confused here. Uh, but we really should be doing this. <laughs> I keep forgetting about it, but I'm really stupid for it. I don't want to drop down here if... Uh, want to fight you one at a time, for sure. Because I don't like the sight of that weapon. Though I'm guessing it will be even more horrifying if we had to fight you uh, while buffed. God damn it, I should have been able to backstab that shit. There we go. Well, that's better. I should have been able to backstab that as well. Oh god. Ah, that was me being stupid. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. That got a bit more hectic than I thought. Lord Titan Shard. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We are just getting... So many of those now. Uh, let's use the last we have to uh, heal up like that. We should actually be embered up as well. But then again, maybe we shouldn't. I don't really know if I... I'm pretty sure this is going to be toxic. Or not. Thank you, God. Very finicky sometimes with the backstabbing. I feel like I should very often be able to do it, even though I, for some reason, can't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God. A scary attack. It's way too long to actually execute. But we are fine, and we got a magic stone plate ring. Does that mean it's going to be a one-shot enemy? We can always hope. I don't suppose that is going to have any different lore, though, than the other stone plate ring. Why do I have a flame stone plate ring on? That makes no sense. Um, increases 
uh, blue stone plates are granted to the royal palace guard. Okay, makes sense. Um, what sort of thing could we have that's actually more useful than, uh, than what we're currently carrying? Perhaps we want to go with this. Recovers HP with successive attacks. So we got both the boots attacked as long as attacking persists and uh, regaining HP as we attack. It uh, seems like it could be an interesting combo for a dexterity character. Okay, what's in here? Boss. Loyalty, in short, sadness ahead. So you say. Okay, I guess this is a fairly okay um, shortcut. Lightning. Leg. Is it going to be a dragon? I'm sort of curious if this actually works still. I don't think it will. No, it doesn't. I think in previous games you could actually look through fog walls using that. Oh man, am I ready for a boss fight? Hmm, I guess I have to be. What is that? It does not look like the typical dragon design that I was expecting. It looks... Ah, you ignorant slaves. Finally taken notice, have you? Looks like a scaleless dragon. Of the power of my beloved Ocelot, child of dragons. Who is talking? Is it a dragon? Oh. I actually hadn't taken notice of that. And I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, I guess it's not Seath at least, but it, it is a scaleless dragon like thing. Serious. Okay, it is the king. Huh. This is probably a bad thing to be close to. I am in a pretty bad spot, I think. Probably. Oh god, that was a really bad place to be. I wonder what it actually does, though. I guess I'll probably figure it out sooner or later. Oh god. Okay, I guess I don't have the... Oh, I need to figure out how to... Huh. What is going on? Am I going to have to fight Ocelot as well? I'm doing less damage than I would like. For sure. You have a lot of reach as well. But you seem fairly okay. I'm not gonna get close to that. Not anytime soon. If I can avoid it. Oh god, slow attacks. I hate slow attacks. Is this going to be when... Is this really the halfway point? 
You seem to be pissed. This does feel like the second phase, but I'm way... Uh, like, I'm not even close to half health. This is usually where this happens. They seem to be really bothered by something that has to do with Ocelot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You seem fairly okay so far, though. Surprisingly okay. Oh, whoa, that was probably bad, though. Yeah, that's totally a seat thing, though. The, uh... The crystal breath thing. I still don't know what that actually does, which is weird. I don't plan on finding out, but... Still. Oh, I should have known how to dodge that. Or at least guarded. Whoa, why did that hit me this time? Yeah, I'm not gonna make this this time. For sure. But, hmm. This is interesting. It does feel like I thought maybe it would have a third. Um, whoa! God, I'm stuck in a uh, uh, in a weird little attack in a mission there. And there comes the spinning thing. Nope, still don't know what it does. Of standing in it would at least teach me, but I guess not. I'm not fairly sure I won't actually be beating it this time. I would like to be able to uh, dodge that attack though more, uh, more reliably. Hmm. The whole like frenzy attack kind of reminds me of. Uh, at the second boss in uh, Dark Souls, uh, no, no, in Bloodborne rather. Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting to him. Like first, it seemed very easy, but now for some reason I can't even uh, get to him as I'm trying to attack him. This is weird when I don't actually. I'm not having too much trouble actually staying alive. Oh god, now I'm having trouble staying alive. I'm just having trouble actually getting to him in time to attack. Oh god. Uh, this might be it. Or maybe not. Oh, that was new. Probably good to keep uh, the shield up there, even though. Hmm. Okay, it's cursing me. That's what happens. <laughs> Hmm, oh, damn it! I feel like I had a thing going there, but... Guess not anymore.
This should definitely be doable. On a second try. It reminds me also of the Gaping Dragon in uh, how you can sort of um, just get behind it as it's going into its frenzy mode. Why did I? God damn it, that was stupid of me. I tried to roll away from it, I think. I even though that made absolutely no sense in that case. But hopefully we can sort of run to that boss. Might be a bit annoying with the elevator. I might want to roll, ride it down and then send it back up um, as I'm um, before rolling down and before rolling off um, where I want to be. But I do want to uh, want to be able to just get past this thing really quickly rather than having to deal with it the proper way. So if we can, that would be very nice. I'm trying to be fast about it, but okay, they can't follow me there, so we're fine. And no, that's still not a one-shot enemy, which is kind of weird, but I think we should be able to run past it. Weirder than I had hoped for. What? Come on, that should not happen. And I should have fucking used my miracle. Oh, I should not be in here. Get the fuck out of there. I'm guessing that's going to curse me as well. But so far it feels like the first path is more difficult than the other one, which is weird. Where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? It's weird that I don't have any idea who Ocelot or this freaking king is or anything. <laughs> it's always weird with dialogue during this battle, you got never have any time to freaking think about what's actually being said. It's too much uh, stuff going on. Like, easy, you can actually get him down to like half health there. That's crazy. Oh god. The fact that it doesn't really aim well though, like it feels like it's just trying to get away from me more than anything. This feels like it should be, like they thought it would be much harder than that list. So I feel like it would probably be much more of a problem. Oh god! Whoa, that was also a bad call on my part, but... Like, especially when it gets stuck. Uh, oh, I should not be have done that. What? No! Okay. I guess I have to give him credit for... <laughs> for being slightly difficult. <laughs> like... Hmm. It's not the sort of difficult where... I guess it's sort of difficult where you can't really make mistakes. <laughs> uh, you have to be like super careful. Uh, I guess it's the case in a lot of these, um, um, a lot of Dark Souls bosses in general. But hmm. it feels like it becomes a special kind of that when 
when it can one or not one shot, but when it can kill you in two shots, um, and it can do that. It can do two of those attacks very quickly to each other. Come on, what are you doing? You're just being silly now. Whoa, 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 that's not cool. And that was new. Okay. Come on, I'm fucking doing the same thing I always did. I don't know why I'm tr actually trying to, like, pull away from you, even though it, that has never been the most effective thing before. <laughs> Come on! For some reason, the things that I'm doing isn't working anymore. <laughs> Like, really, I'm just doing the same thing that I did before, but it's just not doing it anymore. I guess you really gotta be, like, right behind it. And I'm too often trying to fight it. Uh, like from right in front of his legs, which obviously isn't uh, doing too well for me. That was a weird attack as well, because it doesn't seem to actually. This the follow-up attack doesn't seem to hit where it he actually. We are actually standing. I seem to be doing the same amount of damage on uh, the tail, which is a bit surprising. That was bad on my part. I need to like check what is actually being uh, said in his. Uh, um, in his dialogue, after the fact. Yes, thank you. I think I'm learning. Oh god. I feel like I'm sort of know what I'm supposed to be doing now, at least. I just don't want to turn my back to its legs after uh, bringing it towards me. Like this is probably a bad spot. Be in the front of his legs. Oh, 
There we go. I think I got him. Soul of Consumed Oseros. Do we not have to deal with that knight? Okay. Cool. That was a... Yeah, that was an interesting boss fight. <laughs> Even though it was kind of easy. Uh, I mean... Okay. I guess it's stupid for me to call it easy uh, after having to take three tries on it. Um, or maybe four. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. Uh, but... Um, but yeah, there was something about it that felt like, okay, yeah... This, this strategy here is kind of easy to figure out. Hmm, that door over there. It's feeling familiar somehow. But I can't for the life of me remember what it actually is re uh, reminding me of. Hmm, so I guess that's all of this area. Or Osiris, the Consumed King. Uh, and that did not give us a um, a uh, the sinners of a lord, so it wasn't the lord of Lothric, at least. And I'm guessing the prince is actually going to be the lord of Lothric. Um, dun dun dun. Let's see here. What the soul? One of the twisted souls seeped in strength. Um. Osiris went mad trying to harness his, ro his royal blood for a greater purpose, leading him to the heretics of the Grand Archives, okay, uh, where he discovered the twisted worship of Seath the Pale Drake. So yeah, I guess he worshipped Seath then. But who was Ocelot? Hmm. Is that going to be something that I have to fight later? Did we hear, like, a child crying during that fight, or was that my imagination? It's weird that none of this, the lore here, is actually talking about that Ocelot. And I don't think I've ever heard of Ocelot before. Which is, yeah, that's so weird. Uh, the way this game treats uh, lore. I definitely want to level up, but I also sort of want to just open this door. It might actually be the door right before um, High Lord Volner. Uh, nothing more than that. So, hmm. I'm sort of just curious about what this place is. A way of lizard. Just the crystal lizard, I guess. Yes, these are dead. Like, I'm mostly just curious about what this place is, more than anything. Whoa! Whoa, that's cool. Is this actually Snake Knights? Or Snake, uh... Oh, they totally are, aren't they? That's cool. Those were, like, enemies, um... Related to Seath, the Scaleless. We have another well here. This is going to be like a double boss or something like that. I'm too curious to not pick it up. It's an armor, but not here. Path of the Dragon. It's that. That might be that I need to use that gesture in front of the uh, Art, uh, Art Dragon Peak. Could be. Chest ahead and then illusion. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's a chest there. I know I should be, like, reading more of these messages. Um, that's good. I keep forgetting about it. And that is not a mimic. Nice. 
What is this place? I don't like this darkness here. <laughs> is there really a ladder ahead? I can't really see a ladder here. But it's getting some... Well, I guess I have no reason not to go down here. Fine work. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Untended graves. Hmm. Yeah, so we're still, like, discovering new places and such. That's cool. <laughs> uh, that makes me very happy. I was kind of worried that we just have the one place. Uh, left before driving stone. Well, this place is like reminding me a lot of the start of the game. Yeah, seems familiar, doesn't it? Is this the start of the game? All of a crestfallen night. This is totally the start of the game, but in a very different light. I should really stop playing soon, but <laughs> I'm having some trouble doing so. And if this is indeed the the end of this area, or the the, uh, the start of the game. Then we should be fine. Whoa, holy crap. That's a lot of shit. Oh! Whoa, what the hell is going on with these guys? We're a lot diff more difficult now. Please die. Thank you. Thank you. So this is my grave then. Ashen Estus Ring. This is going to like increase the amount of uh, FP that the... Uh, that the um, Ashen Estus Flask gives me. I guess I should really maybe use the Estus Ring as well. Um, it's right next to the normal Estus ring, perhaps? Yeah, so that's totally what it does. Seems to have completely different, um, different lore to it. Great crystalline, uh, crystalline ring crafted from shards increases FP restored by Ash and Estus flask. Once a treasure brought before Lothric's queen, she had it enshrined in the cemetery of untended graves, so that uh, one day an unkindled knight, an unkindled, might uh, profit from its use. That's a weird thing to do. I feel like. Couldn't you put it in uh, in my uh, my grave instead? <laughs> Did it have to be in this sort of separate area? Hmm, so I'm super curious about this place now. And we have the um, uh, Lothric Castle. And we have potentially Art Dragon Peak. We have a lot of stuff to do. Let's head back to Firelink Shrine and, uh, uh, and level up. Aha, that's all. White Dragon Breath. Emit Crystal Breath of Cetus Scalus. 
um, crystal breast has piercing qualities. So this uh, research seemed to strike a chord um, with old Big Hat, who in his mad, disrobed state made divine works such as this uh, his own. Osiris was no doubt edified by this. Uh, you can uh, encounter Big Hat in his mad, disrobed state in Dark Souls 1. Moonlight Greatsword. That, I believe, is like a super good um, weapon in uh, in the previous games. I never used it myself, though. Legendary Dragon uh, weapon associated with the, the Pale Drake. Charge strong attack to his limit to unleash Moonlight Wave. Uh, I guess that's a, uh, a special attack. Osiris, the, well, like a beam, uh, beam attack similar to the one that we... Uh, uh, got with the Storm Ruler? Yeah. Osiris, the Consumed King, was infatuated with the search for moonlight, but in the end, it never revealed itself to him. Hmm. Moonlight Vortex, draw sword back and thrust to unleash torrential moonlight. Hmm. Which one do you want? I think we're going with this, actually. Nah, we're gonna keep on going with the 30. It seems to still give us the same amount of uh, of boosts to our attack. So let's keep going to 40, I guess. Maybe we'll stop along the way and get some other stuff as well, but for now, let's focus on dexterity. I feel like I have... Well, I guess with the boss actually um, <laughs> killing me so easily last time, might be... Good to have uh, uh, to have a little bit more health still. Right, so uh, with that we are going to end the episode. Uh, in the next one, I think we are gonna try to keep on exploring that uh, untended grave because that seems like a really interesting place. Uh, Lottery Castle, it's been cool so far, uh, but it's still like. It's a castle. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of the most standard sort of area uh, you can find. So I'm not super excited about um, what what we can find in there. Um, but I'm sure they'll like still manage to make it interesting because they've done so far. Uh, but uh, but yeah, we're gonna f see if there's anything more interesting in the untended grave. Um, so until then, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Dark Souls 3. Bye-bye.